Hello friends, I can't wait for you to join me today for a market I'm doing up at our local pumpkin patch. It is gonna be so cute, it's gonna be so fun. This is the first one of this season, so I honestly am not expecting a ton of traffic. Also, the fair is in town right now, so I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be going to the fair. That's just kind of what I'm predicting, but honestly, I'm not even gonna be that mad if it's a little bit slower because I've been so nervous for this show because I haven't done one since June, my big one I did in June. And this is the first one of a busy season and I feel like I always overhype them in my head and I overthink everything. I know a lot of you can relate to that when prepping for shows, but anyways, just know you're not alone. I'm right there with you. I'm feeling a little nervous for this one, but I feel like when we're actually up there and we're all set up, we're gonna start feeling a lot better. So Peyton is currently loading one of our cars. I've got my car loaded with mostly inventory type of things. So that is what I have back here. We are bringing a lot of stuff. I actually counted. I have 93 chickens and I'm not bringing all of them because I didn't have room. So I think I'm bringing about 20 chickens. We'll see how those sell. I have some cute little ghosts that I'm going to try to put out. Super excited. I just want to say a huge thank you for coming with me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Cameron. I run my own crochet boutique called Cameron's Cute Creations. And here on YouTube, I love helping fellow makers like you make more money selling at craft show. So if you're not subscribed already, this would be a really good time to subscribe because I have a ton of vlogs coming up. This is the first one in a series of seven. So I'm so excited to take you along this whole craft show journey, this whole craft show season with me. I can't wait to see how we do today. Thanks so much for coming with me. And I guess it's about eight o'clock. I feel like I need to head up to the pumpkin patch and start figuring out where I'm actually going to be because usually I get an email of where I'm going to be, but but this week I didn't and I think they have somebody new running the vendors and I'm a little bit nervous. I'm like, wait, where am I even going to be set up? So I'm going to go up there, touch base with whoever's running it, the coordinator, and just feel a little bit more confident about where I'm going to be. I'm such a planner and I think that's kind of adding to my nerves right now. Also, if you don't already have my craft fair checklist, this is a free checklist that I have in the description box linked down below for you. And I'm only mentioning it because this thing saves me every single show. I swear, if I didn't have this, I don't even know. I'd be forgetting so many things. I feel like there's always so much going on before an event. So it's important to just have it all for you on one sheet of paper. And I even have a little area where you can add other things that you need to bring as well. So that is what I'm going through. I'm just double checking my list and oh, that just reminded me. I need to find any business cards that I have laying around because I feel like I'm out of them actually, which it's a bummer, but I need to order more of those. And those are really great to have at shows. So I'm going to check inside really quick before I leave if I have any business cards. But that's just an example of why you need a checklist in your life. Whether you make your own checklist, go download this one. It's free. I just put everything that I would ever need at a craft fair on this thing so that you guys can use it as well. But anyways, I'm going to go inside, check for a couple last minute things and then we're gonna head up there and see see what it's what it's looking like i'm really nervous let's go check if i have any business cards well i just checked and it looks like i don't have any business cards which i should have checked way before i was setting up the morning of my market but you know what don't have business cards we're rolling with it we're going with it it's okay i think i'm gonna bring these little care guides that I say on them my information and then how to care for the item. So maybe I'll just bring these instead for now because they're kind of like business cards, but they're not. <laughs> I should have ordered some, but I will make sure to put that on my list of things to do this week. Order more business cards. My gaslight is on, but luckily we're pretty close. So hopefully I can make it there. Since I don't know where my spot is and I just don't really know who's running it now, I feel like it's kind of, it's an event I've done before, but it feels like it's almost my first time doing this event just because maybe it's being run differently now. So I don't know. I am going to just show up and see how it goes. We're getting there pretty early. 
We're getting there at 8.30, and the event doesn't start until 10. They do open the store that uh, is part of the event at 9, and so sometimes there are some early shoppers, so that's something to keep in mind as well. I like getting set up as early as possible when I'm here. I'm honestly not sure what the traffic's gonna be like. Just with the fair going on right now, and it's still being really early in the season, I'm not sure what the traffic is gonna look like, and it's super nice, which is super awesome as a vendor because it's not gonna be super windy or rainy or any of those things that really are not fun to set up in but at the same time uh when it's super warm like this people don't buy the fall stuff as much obviously because they're not in the fall mindset yet but technically fall isn't until next weekend and usually this event picks up a lot more in October so I guess I'm just not really sure what to think as far as the traffic goes I'm not really sure if my amigurumi is going to sell well at this show, I've only tried selling amigurumi at one other show and it did sell really well, but I guess we'll just kind of play it by ear, just show up, do the best I can and we'll figure it out, figure it out together. Thanks again for coming with me. I get so nervous for these, especially when it's the first of a busy season, uh, but I will say there are some things that I do to try to relieve my anxiety. Yesterday I had a little spa day. I did one of these float things. I floated in flo floated in salt water, like a salt water bath. It was crazy. This dark room and you just float in salt water for half an hour and it was good. It was a good way to relax. So I feel like that relieves some of my anxiety. Also in the middle of moving. So <laughs> there's just a lot going on. I'm trying to remember to give myself grace during this busy season of my life and know that, you know, not every year I'm going to be moving in the middle of it and it's going to be easier, you know, but I'm still going to show up. And I think that's the most important part is showing up even when you know it's not going to be perfect. It's so hard as a perfectionist, but so important to just show up and do it anyways and make the best out of what you have, you know? So anyway, we are just about to pull up to the event. I will show you. We are pulling up to the event. Peyton is not too far behind me. He may or may not have went and grabbed a coffee. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I am going to just go on back here. See if there's anybody I can check in with. To see where I'm going to be set up at. It looks like there's some other vendors already set up. Um, looks like somebody's out here in the front and then it looks like there's some people starting to gather back here. Oh, okay, I know them. I know them. Okay, I know some vendors here. I'm going to get out and ask what the deal is with our spots. <laughs> No, I think we should go a little bit more this way because I don't know if somebody's going to fit right there. And then be aligned with them, kind of. Like there. How does that feel for you guys? Is that good, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think there's walking room and then I, if somebody's right here, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Hey friends, it's editing Cameron, just hanging out with you while I unload, well, Peyton and I unload for the market. I just kind of wanted to explain what the setup situation was. So pretty much we got to choose where we sat up and there was only seven vendors, which was kind of surprising to me because usually this venue is way more full. But you know what else I realized is we started a week earlier this year than we did last year. So I wasn't too concerned about there not being a ton of vendors, but that does sometimes affect traffic because if there's not a ton of vendors, it doesn't draw in as many customers. But I wanted to say a huge thank you to my husband, Peyton, for helping me set up because um, you can't tell by looking at me, but I was freaking out. I was so nervous, especially since there wasn't a ton of vendors and I was just overthinking everything. You don't hear me go over a million different display ideas to Peyton during these videos because I time-lapsed it, but 
oh my goodness, I was just giving him all the ideas. Move this over there, move that over there. No, that looks bad there. And he was being so patient with me. So big shout out to Peyton. I always love having him as a helper at my events, especially when I'm vlogging. So uh, we, re we really appreciate you, Peyton. Thank you. I'll include a little clip here of what I'm talking about when just trying to make decisions. <laughs> I feel like we need to decide between the fence and the pipeboard. Unless we put the fence up here. Could we fit fence? Oh, if we do if we do the pegboard here, we could do the fence with those on the outside of the fence. We can. Maybe let's try that. I didn't bring any hay today. So I didn't bring any hay for my pumpkin displays, but I had those pine cones. And if you want to see some more of the display items that I have, I didn't put everything out because I have so many. I actually include all of that in one of my latest vlogs. So go check it out. I go through all of my display stuff and organize it. But anyways, here I am setting up all of my pumpkins in my little pumpkin patch area. I love grouping them together like this and making it look like a little pumpkin patch because I'm setting up at a pumpkin patch. It's like they get to go pick out their crochet pumpkin from a mini pumpkin patch. It's really fun. And while I was doing that, Peyton was putting up scrunchies and keychains on my pegboard. I use this back table to put a lot of my amigurumi and group a lot of that together as well. So I added my chickens and my little ghosts and also some of my adult sized things. And this is my side table that I love putting all of my baby and kid sized items on. So that is what I'm doing. And I love doing the stackable crates. It just adds some dimension and some vertical interest and definitely draws in a ton of customers. Can we just talk about how beautiful this morning was? Like, look at this beautiful sunlight coming through. It's still technically summer, but getting so close to fall. And I just cannot get over how nice the weather was for us. All right, are you ready for the walkthrough? This was my sign at the front. I had my little checkout area. Here is where I have all of my baby sized things. And I'm not gonna lie, I had one baby hat left and it was the first thing that sold. So you see it sitting there, but you'll see me in a second have to move the baby sign out of the way because I actually don't have any more baby sized things. I definitely need to prep more of that. I love using these stackable crates to put my adult uh, headbands and beanies in. And I got those stackable crates from Fred Myers. By the way, I get questions on those all the time. And my little chicken coop I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. So go check out your local Hobby Lobby. Here is kind of my pumpkin patch area and my pegboard. I loved this. I think it was my favorite part of this, uh, this display this time was my little pumpkin patch pegboard corner. So, so cute. I've also been getting some questions questions on how big my banner is. And honestly, I still need to measure it, but I believe it's the two and a half by four foot one. I got mine from Vistaprint. The first thing that I did after getting all the way set up was go grab myself an iced chai tea latte. This venue, let me tell you, has the best chai lattes ever, probably because they're like pure sugar, but hey, we won't talk about it. Here I am moving that baby sign because that hat sold first thing in the morning. It's pretty slow so far, but uh, you know what? It's still the morning. It's about 30 minutes into when the event started. I'm just sipping on my chai, waiting for customers to show up. I think I have some friends coming to visit me today too, so I'm excited to see if they end up coming. But yeah, that's kind of a little update. Let's just uh, keep hanging out and wait for customers to come. I had two sales already, but um, yeah, we'll see. I kind of have a little setup going on back here, so you know that. <laughs> I got my little notebook out. I've got my wallet, portable charger. This is full of stuff. It's kind of disorganized. <laughs> this is full of things, and there's more stuff underneath there. So I'm gonna plug in my phone already because it's in the heat and it's dying.
<laughs> I love the fluffy ones. <laughs> They're so soft. Okay, we're gonna. We're really doing some we're doing some shopping here. here. <laughs> yeah, that yard is so soft. It's faux fur. <laughs> I just want to snuggle them. Yeah, you seriously. I need to make some cows next. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> well, I do. would get a million. Okay, so it should be, should be the next, I ran out of the next size up and then I have a size that's above that. Oh, that might, be good that might be good for um, the upcoming season. <laughs> they look like little pigtails. <laughs> Hi, how's it going, squad? <laughs> good. <gasps> Do I get that? <laughs> oh, I, oh my gosh! Is it a little ghost in a swing? Yeah, it's your car. so cute. I'm vlogging right have, now, so <laughs> I have to make it like your your color. It's so I love it. I'm gonna put it in my car, but I'll keep it. <laughs> People are gonna ask if it's for sale. No, it's mine. It's like so your cute. Colors. I know it's so perfect. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Are you having a little girl? Aww. <laughs> Aww, so fun. One of each. Those are cute, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I'm doing it right now. Look at Yeah. See now. Yes. Let's go make this one. This one, then. Hi. <laughs> Oh my yeah, they're you're making stuff. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you know how soft that is. I try to my use the soft a stuff. Huge knitter. Oh she yeah. Does baby hats oh fun. And donates them and stuff. Oh, I love that. She always makes the same simple pattern, and right. those are so cute. Oh, though. thanks. Yeah, I do it all the time. But, you know, it's one of those <laughs> when you get the stitches yeah. going, your mind. Yeah, I love when it. my husband drives us places because I just crochet in the car. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I call it passenger princess, and I'm just like, I'm at. Thank you. <laughs> I love making these. They whip up pretty quick, but they're so cute. I just love, they're just fun. And this yarn is so soft, and it's just fun to work with. Have fun today. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good. It's super soft. I love using the soft stuff. Have fun today. Thanks. Yeah. Anyone else just drink their drinks so slow? You try to savor every little bit. It's been two hours. I have a couple sips left. <laughs> I'm so sad. I kind of want another one. Ooh, we're gonna do a chicken. All right. This one's 18. Do you want to do cash or card? I've got card. Card, perfect. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. It's so nice. It's perfect out here. Yeah, they're, they're five dollars each. I didn't know how to tag them. They're yeah, just so little. So <laughs> Perfect. Get your six back here. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. What are you guys up to today? Oh, just going around. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's a pretty day. Beautiful. How are you? Good. How are you? I heard I have chickens over here, yeah. They're kind of hanging out over here. <laughs> I love chickens. Oh Aren't they cute? So cute. We're going to do Did the chicken? Yes, yeah, for sure. Hi. How's it going? I'm good. What are you guys up to today? Just hanging out. Hanging out? It's so pretty today. Absorbing it. Yes, totally. I'm going to grab that one. All right, that one's 25. Do you want to do cash or card? I... What's better for you? If you have cash, that's great. Okay. Can you break 100? Yes. I'll get you 75 back here. It's the perfect day to come up here. It's so nice. Two, four, six, 75 back for you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Do you want a much. little bag? No, I You're have good? a bag in the Okay, box. perfect. Okay. Sounds good. I like it. I like it. I like it.
<laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, Winnie. Have fun today. Yeah, Thanks. Today's been very slow, but I had some friends to come visit me. I still have a couple hours left, and I've honestly been really enjoying my time so far. I've been really productive with crocheting things, and even though it's been super slow, I've actually done a ton in sales, which is really surprising honestly because there's barely anybody people are barely anybody shopping right now so just uh i'll give you a little look hi how are you thank you thank you aren't those fun <laughs> Yeah, of course. Have fun today. What are you making now? I'm making one of the pumpkins. Oh, so wow. you, it's kind of inside out right now, but you yeah. flip it uh -huh. and you'll fill it. And then I cinch it on the top and put the stem in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank <Very nice>. you. <laughs> <laughs> you got a uh, cash or card? card okay sounds good hello it's editing cameron back again to walk you through a little bit of my tear down so i did have a couple people trying to shop for me as i was tearing down and honestly i just let people shop still i'm like you know what the event's over but if you want to buy something while i'm tearing down no worries look through my bins and it's funny as soon as you start tearing down all of us vendors have this joke that that is when all of your customers try to shop from you but at this point of tear down i think i was done with customers Customers, and it was just putting things back away in the bins. Now, I could lie to you and say, yeah, I put things back so organized, but you'll see. I just kind of threw stuff in my bins a little bit. I was tired and it was hot. <laughs> I don't think I was mentally prepared for how hot it was gonna be that day. But anyways, I did put things back somewhat organized so I could at least find them the next day when I set up again. AC on blast. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened. Towards the end, I just started overheating. <laughs> so tearing down, it is, my car's saying it's only 83. Definitely feel like it's hotter than that, but my car's also parked in the shade. So feel like it's probably about 90, which doesn't sound horrible. And I know some of you are from Texas. And you're like, that's nothing, girl. I can't do heat. I can't do heat. That's why I do uh, fall shows, but I guess it's technically still summer. Whew. Let's, let's go cool off. That was a really hot day. It is actually technically fall still. So, no, sorry, summer still, it's been a long day. It's technically summer still, so it's pretty warm here. My car is saying 85 degrees, but I think it might be even a little bit warmer than that. It feels like it. There's no breeze, nothing. And I was starting to kind of feel the heat towards the end there. So I got AC on blast. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna just chill out for a minute and we can chat a little bit about how today went and all the things. I just pulled back in to home and you can probably tell with the sun beaming in on me how warm today was. And yeah, I'm just gonna take it a little easy tonight. I'm doing this event again tomorrow. I will vlog it and I will post it in a part two of this vlog series. So be sure to subscribe down below because there will be a part two of how tomorrow goes for me. Sundays are usually a little bit slower, but for a weird reason, I feel like I'm gonna do either just as well or better tomorrow because at this venue, usually Sundays, are honestly not bad. And today I did kind of worse than I thought. So I'm like crossing my fingers that tomorrow goes a little bit better for me. But now I kind of know what to bring more of and what to display in certain ways because I have a better understanding of what has been selling for me uh, just based off of today. So I'm gonna look over what my best sellers were, go over some of that with you tonight, talk about how the day went, all of the things. So I think first thing is first, I'm gonna make some food for Peyton and I. We're gonna do a little caprese salad pasta type of deal. If you wanna see part two of this vlog go ahead and subscribe down below because i'll be 
posting that as a separate video and it's gonna be how I do tomorrow on Sunday so I think I need some food I think I need to get hydrated and chill out let's go say hi to Miss Alice she probably missed me today let's go see Miss Alice and get some dinner going here hi how are you did you have a good day did you have a good day Alice you're such a good girl your company did good today. Your business is thriving, girlfriend. You're doing great. <laughs> She's CEO, but yeah, she doesn't really do much. Anyone else just immediately change to comfy clothes when they get home? Because that's exactly what I did. As soon as I got home, I'm like, comfy clothes are going on. I don't even care. It has been a long, hot day. So I am all snuggled up. I've got Miss Alice by my side. Alice, do you wanna come say hi? Come here. Say hi, Alice. <laughs> she is very camera shy, but just know that Miss Alice is snuggled up next to me right now. I, as soon as I got home, changed into my comfy clothes. And I think I'm not gonna do any crocheting tonight. My wrist is kind of bugging me because I crocheted all day at this market. It was a bit slower than I thought it would be, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do bad. I didn't do bad at all. I will say I had two top bestsellers with a pretty close third, nah, no, I was, I guess, a surprising third bestseller. I sold a ton of my double palm beanies, which, I mean, I sell these every single show in newborn, in baby, in toddler, all of the sizes. They sell like crazy. Now, if you haven't tried selling these at your markets yet, I sell the pattern, uh, all five sizes, and they all sell really well. So go grab the pattern. It's on my website and start making these at your market. The pink ones with the double palms, by far my bestseller. And again, it was my bestseller today, even at a slow market. And even when it's super hot. I always think that's so funny. I actually didn't sell any adult beanies or adult headbands today. So all kids stuff today because it's still again really hot today. So people are not thinking beanies, which is fine. It's going to cool down later in the season. And I know people are going to start snagging the beanies. But anyways, I sold a ton of the baby double palm beanies. And then I sold a ton of the chickens. I sold a lot of them. I only brought 20, but I sold a lot of those and I'm gonna definitely tag and bring some more for tomorrow and see how they do again tomorrow so it sold a ton of the double palm beanies sold a ton of the chickens and I ended up selling all but two of my little ghosts I mean I thought that was pretty good I didn't think they were gonna sell this early in the season but people were loving the ghosts definitely gonna make more of those for my upcoming season for sure so I just wanted to say a huge thank you for hanging out with me today in today's vlog vlogging is my favorite thing ever and I hope you you love today's video. I always have more fun when you come with me to these shows. It was a little bit of a slow one today, so it was really fun hanging out with you. I was crocheting a lot today, and honestly, I met a lot of great people. A lot of my sales were... I guess I had fewer sales, but the people buying and purchase, making purchases from me, my customers bought a lot all at once, which was super awesome because I was able to make more that way. It wasn't like $5 things here and there. There were definitely a higher average. As far as what they were spending at my booth, it was definitely a higher average than I normally have, which was awesome. But we will see how tomorrow goes in the next vlog I post. So if you're not subscribed already, what the heck are we doing here? Come on, subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel so I can get my videos out to more makers like you and also be able to make more vlogs, do more fun things like this, show more behind the scenes. If there's anything that you would love to see in any future vlogs, go ahead and comment down below. I would love to include anything that you wanna see in future vlogs. These vlogs are really fun for me to film, but I make them for you as an educational and kind of entertainment things. So hang out with me, market prep for your markets, understand it, get a better look at markets, all of the things. So if you wanna see anything in particular, always feel free to comment and let me know what you'd like to see. And and I will see you, my friends, in this video right here. I think you're really gonna love it. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in this video right here. Bye.